pop that open. Go up! <laughs> well, that's bad. Oh. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Place cargo here. Okay. Um. Config, configuration, attach. Beep. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Um, is it okay for it to get wet? Ow. so fast hello um, can I get up here or am I just breaking things Someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels no more. This section is gonna collapse. Oh, you should try spending some time in the abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. Catherine, move up. Come with me. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, wait for <laughs> me! Take it easy, it's not going to. <laughs> oh. For a moment, I thought it was going to collapse. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we need to find another way around. I mean, that's good, right? Hurry where? Oh, light. We like light. Wow. I mean, literally. <laughs> oh, that's one of those things in the diagram. I may draw power from those. Where? Ow. Okay. Yeah. You're not a myth. I mean, it was pretty obvious as soon as they brought it up. It was like... I mean, no, there's something going on there. <laughs> I'm like ducking my head as I'm going under things. Ah, there is so much of this... gunk everywhere. Stop jump scaring me, Ross. You can just... Tell me what you want. I need you to stop me. Clearly. What? How? The enslaved protein slushing around your suit is the use for which the power will hang itself. 
What are you talking about? As soon as I came to the Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin not make the wow with it. But they didn't understand. They put it inside my cabinet. This was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountainhead of the misery we created. And then the girl, she figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the WoW? All together? You are the snake, Simon. Now strike at the heart. Interesting. I'm kind of wondering if WoW will give us a reason to not to. <laughs> definitely want to. I mean, I don't see any benefit in letting it live. Wow. That is a big ol' I mean... Okay. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess we'll see. Ew! My hand? Aw, oh, bro, it just ate my hand. <laughs> Hi. Please, I did what you wanted. You did good, Simon, but you can't leave. The only way to make sure the WoW stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. That doesn't make any sense. Sucks to suck, man. I just want to stick your arm into everything. <laughs> oh, I can move. Out we go! Oh. Oh! Oh! That's a problem. I don't know what that was, but that's a problem. Out we go! Uh, please leave me alone. <laughs> okay, yes, heal, please. Thanks. Uh, I'm just- I'm gonna assume that the, the sprint thing is- is fine. I'm gonna assume that this- this- this strategy will work. Oh! But I- Oh, I was- I was going to a little safe spot. <laughs> God, I assume this is the strategy every panicky player tries first. <laughs> oh man. Come on, dude. Or even is it? Oh, hi. Yeah, um, can you give me some space, man? There's uh, up, up. Is 
sucks to suck, man. Maybe that was not the best timing. Ah! Woo! That was close. Go, run! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, that scared me, but also, I was in a little cubby! Damn it! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh my gosh, I am so slow. I mean, this is big enough for it to go inside it. Let's be honest. I'm stuck. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, do the thing. Beep! I could really use a healing butthole. Okay. Then let me in. Your expressway to the stars. It's the achievement I just got. This has to be Phi, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Right, because I couldn't fucking do anything. Well, let's see if you get any signage. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. Oh my god. I'll have both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Cool. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Cool beans. Um, I guess, I guess you'll stay here. Alright. Phi is up and running. Oh, cool. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah. I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Ooh, launch dome. My storage blinking. It's interesting. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space. The satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Okay. Oh, oh, that's where that's where the Ark is. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a real. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Man, that sucks. <laughs> Having to climb a ladder like that. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. <laughs> what will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd yeah. say so. Um, yeah, I already, s I already saw that. <laughs> she Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. 
We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. It was an accident. Oh, sure. Catherine, it was. talk to me. Catherine. Well, God. fuck. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you. Oh. You mean Catherine? Don't worry, it's better this way. Oh, well, damn. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. Right. I'll go pick it up. How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought I might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. Oh, that's sad. Um, whatever this How is. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. I mean, it's pretty easy to say, like, they were fighting with you. Like, one of them was fighting with you. Um, I'll, I'll get to that. I, I want to fix my vision. <laughs> ah, that's better. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Oh. Now I feel even worse. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance. A whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. There it is. Here it is. We got the Ark back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. Okay. It's kind of weird that, like, the blood is trailing to that random cart over there. Okay, so I'm assuming that I need to bring the power- yeah, over to there. I will take, uh, that. Fuck. of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Damn, it sure has um, dramatic music instead of like exciting music, which does not bode well. Let's get this thing going. Um, whoops, no, not that. Do I need to go in here or just talk to Catherine? I'll do both. <laughs> now we just need to get the shot oh, to the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. 
You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot huh. seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. So, in theory, considering, you know, in theory all this going right, would that mean it's the original Catherine on there instead of... So she wouldn't remember all of this? I guess we'll see. Like, I, there's so much more going on they haven't, like, explained to us yet. I'm just, I'm really curious at how this is gonna go. Can I... Go? Okay. <laughs> that took a bit. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Damn. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Yeah. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Okay. This feels a little weird, but okie dokie. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Wow, that was weird. Whoop! <laughs> It needs to go there? Wait. Oh no. Oh, this- here's the thingy. And then... Carefully... And we take... Carefully... Don't I need- do I need to like twist it? Or will it do it on its own? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. That is sus as hell, ma'am. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just... What are you waiting for? Here we go, no turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? 
We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. Oh, fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Oh, rip. That was abrupt. Damn. It was good. Were there- are there multiple endings? I mean, it was a- it's a horror game, so like, there's no expecting a happy ending, that's for sure. It's just I know, um, because Amnesia had multiple, um, multiple endings. Please only affect your path and dialogue, but don't affect the ending. For example, if you refuse to stick your arm into the WoW, you get to keep it, but still get chased by the Leviathan. So interesting to replay it. Like, yeah, for sure. That's interesting. I was expecting there to be multiple endings. Um, I am I am kind of surprised it ends so abruptly. I was kind of expecting a little bit more um, bravado, I guess? I, I do kind of wish we could actually see what it looked like on the arc, and I guess that's kind of the point, is that like we're living as Simon and, and we don't see... We're the Simon that gets left at the bottom of the ocean. It's kind of weird that... Because they were talking about like, oh, it's, the, it's like a coin toss, you know, if you end up that Simon or this Simon. And it kind of reminds me of, um, which one is it? Is it The Prestige? Spoiler alerts for that movie. <laughs> but the whole thing is that it's basically the same thing. He's He figured out a way, um... Okay, um, I am still, I am still dialoguing, so you're gonna have to hold on. Um, I don't remember if it's The Prestige or The Illusionist. I think it's The Prestige. Um, but he basically has his whole magic trick of he's in the water thing, and then all of a sudden he's up there and he's alive. But in reality, like, this version of him is drowning in this water tank, and there's a whole other version of him up there. And in the in the movie, they describe it as, oh, it's, it's a coin toss. I don't know if I'm gonna end up up there or if I'm gonna be, you know, the one drowning in the tank. But in reality, like, that's not how it is. There's one consciousness that is now drowning in the tank, and there's a whole new version of... It is the prestige, okay. It's the whole new version of him that's up and continuing on you know, the shows and stuff. And it's very similar in that way, because, again, like, it's not a coin toss if you end up in the new one or the old one. The old one is just the old one, and the new one is the new one, and, and then they diverge, and they're two separate consciousnesses. <laughs> it's not like 50-50, you might end up being that one. It's No, you're, you're the one that you are, and that's that. Hey, our arm's back. Whoa. And everyone was still Is this? claiming to be the right one, Did exactly. It work? He must have bad circulation like me. His hands are very red. <laughs> this time when I even think about the one he just saw. Exactly, he's thinking like, yeah, I made it through. It it worked, kind of a thing. Well, I spoke too soon about not getting to see the Ark, I guess. It's very, very pretty. It's relieving to see some colors, honestly, yeah. Real green, not like sickly green. Um... Well, there seems to be some issues. Or that could just be my own graphics. If you're reading this, you've successfully entered the arc. Survey is designed to give developers a better understanding. Please continue. That's interesting because we took this earlier, but now it's kind of like, after all of that, like it's like, yeah, I feel better. That's not so much like, oh, I feel weird. Describe your mental condition. I mean, in that case, normal, seems like. 
Describe your senses. I kind of feel more sensitive to awareness or anything. I think that one was the same. How did you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I'm told by the fact you're no longer strictly human. That's interesting, because I, I want to... Like, I wonder... Because I feel like for him, it's between these two, because he definitely was mourning his previous existence. But also, like, he wanted to keep going. I mean, well, we're going to say three still. How did you perceive your new existence? I mean, perception-wise, it's a direct continuation. Do you think this new existence... Well, yeah. I mean, any life is worth living, I think, if, if you want it. No. Neat. It is kind of funny that it's just, like, sitting here in the middle of this greenery. Are we gonna get to see Catherine? Catherine? Wow. Look at you in your fancy Catherine. outfit. I can't believe we actually made it. Yeah, it's not intentional here. Yeah. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Eternity among the st among the stars. Good for them. <laughs> well, neat. I'm, gl I'm glad there was a little bit extra at the end there. But that at least gave it kind of a, a more ending kind of a feel. The other one was just so, like, abrupt. What a game indeed. Um, I'm going to... There we go. Now having played it, it's harder to compare it to um, Amnesia because, you know, during the whole playthrough, that's, that's what I was doing, because it's five frictional games. But after having played it, it's very distinct, I think, from Amnesia because Amnesia was very much more, uh, it wasn't as much story driven. It had its own story, but it was very surface level. There wasn't a lot of like, there wasn't much to think about, you know, it was just kind of like the story and you played through it to figure out what happened. And at the very end, you could make a choice. Um, but it was also a lot more horror-esque, you know, it felt a lot more monsters and, um, I mean, this one had the same elements as far as the monsters chasing you and not being able to look at them and that kind of stuff. Amnesia, I feel like that was the draw of it. You know, the draw of Amnesia was the, the monsters and kind of, I guess, learning its own little story. But with Soma, it was so much more about the story and the characters and, and understanding what happened and your choices and what they mean. And yeah, you're having the dilemma. Exactly. It, it asks a lot more of you in a good way. You know, it, it wants you to really think about why you're making the choices that you're making within the game instead of just playing through it to discover what's going on, you know, because that's part of it. But you also have all of these choices and they affect things and they matter. I think, I think they're technically both horror games, but Soma was also a lot more in depth. You know, Amnesia was very surface level. So it's kind of hard to compare them, so I'm not gonna try to put them on the same level, really. <laughs> I, I guess I could see why people would want to run through it, because, you know, it has horror elements. But that kind of defeats the purpose, especially really early on, it kind of... I mean, I guess if you're rushing through from the beginning, then you'll miss the fact that there are important things, but I feel like pretty early on you would catch on, like, oh, there's something important going on. It's not just a scary game. So, so it is too bad that, that there are people that wouldn't get the full, the full experience on their first, on their first playthrough.